A hearing aid evaluation entails first a physical examination of the ear, looking for deformities or simply a wax blockage, something of that nature. Secondly, we will evaluate the ear with a pure tone test where the patient responds to a tone that's presented to the ear. Thirdly, a speech discrimination test to test the patient's ability to understand what they're hearing. Hearing loss is a medical condition which sometimes is treated with hearing aids, but other times requires the expertise of an ear, nose, and throat specialist. The physician owners at Richmond Hearing Aids are specialists in diagnosing and treating hearing loss. We test the patient's hearing in a soundproof booth using soft tones of different pitches presented to each ear independently. As the tones are presented to the patient, they'll respond by simply pressing a button. The technician will record that response and then proceed to the next level of testing. After the hearing evaluation is, is performed, we'll assess whether that hearing loss has progressed past a 30% threshold. If so, then we would probably recommend that hearing aids be used. Well, ever since I came to Richmond Hearing Aids, I've, I've got to say that um, my life has completely changed. Um, when I first found out I had to have hearing aids, I was a little disappointed. I really wasn't too excited about having them. But um, after they fitted me for them, it has just opened up a whole new world of sound. And I can honestly say it was probably one of the smartest things I ever did. Uh, Richmond Hearing Aid has just changed my life. Many patients might be concerned that the type of hearing aid that we're recommending is very visible, but it's not. Uh, the color that we choose, the way it contours to the ear, the, the translucence of the tubing that we use makes it virtually invisible. The hearing aid fits into the ear as well, is very stable, holds the hearing aid in place, maintains the quality of the sound by not uh, working itself out of the ear, and is very comfortable and very stable on the ear. Richmond Hearing Aids was able to help me understand how it can just become a very inconspicuous and yet very helpful part of my life. I like to tell every patient that a hearing loss is much more noticeable than a hearing aid. Most patients take uh, 30 to 45 days to completely acclimate themselves to wearing the instrument. During the first 45 days after the initial fitting, we'll probably see each patient two to three times during that time period. We'll do physical evaluations to make sure the instruments are comfortable and computer adjustments to make sure the sound quality and volume are, are meeting the patient's needs. Part of the assessment test would involve the patient actually realizing that they have a hearing loss. Usually the family members know long before the patient does that that loss is there and how invasive it is. Working with the physicians at Richmond ENT, we help bridge that gap between the family and the patient and make that process as easy and as comfortable for the patient as we can.